Well, IUU fishing um, all around the world, and especially here in Tanzania, is a big problem because none of the fish that is taken out during IUU fishing is accounted for. And when it's taken illegally or unreported or unregulated, which is what the IUUs stand for, uh, we don't know that. So we don't know how much fish is taken out. They can use illegal methods, which take uh, a huge toll on the, on the fish. And it takes fish away from the local artisanal fishermen. This is not a, uh, a Tanzanian problem alone. This is a world problem. The international community is united to fight against to fight against the IUU because within the IUU, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, there are a lot of atrocities that are happening in the in the in the ocean while people are fishing illegally. Total catch on board. You say about that they took down. 32 tons. Yeah. Bycatch? How many bycatch do you have? Shark? No. No, no shark? No, no shark. No shark. Uh, how, how many, how many, they, they will ask me. Uh, we are still busy counting. You didn't record any shark that you caught. You didn't record, right? No, no. The owners of the vessels practice IUU, mostly they will do other businesses which is unregulated. So wherever you deal with IUU, at the same time you're going to face the other crimes. The crimes like uh, smuggling of goods, smuggling of other natural resources, stuff like timber, uh, mining, ivory, all these are crimes, attempts which the world is trying to, to eradicate. So for me, IUU, it's not easy to differentiate from the other marines' crimes. When these bigger ships come for fishing, we do not know what they carry with them. Some of the ships that are coming to our waters come with chemical wastes and they deposit them in our ocean. They come with illegal immigrants, they come with small lambs, they come with drugs. We do not know what they have with them when they apply our waters. And this is a, this is a danger uh, to our country. We arrested uh, two large longliners offshore and inspected several others. And the result of that was that the entire fleet left Tanzanian waters um, to go to the high seas or to other EEZs. And that makes you think that most of them were doing something illegal because the ones that we would inspect and release, it was really not a, a big imposition on them. It's a normal part of fisheries to have fisheries inspections. The outcomes for Tanzania during Operation uh, Jotari was very positive. Not only did it make the foreign fishing fleet aware that Tanzania was not afraid to enforce the law on IUU fishing, it also help the Tanzanians to enforce other maritime crimes that involves smuggling of drugs, smuggling of environmental resources. The patrols that we did started an eradication of these uh, crimes because people were being prosecuted, it was being publicized, and the Tanzanian and the international community at large were seeing what was happening So that entire fleet has just disappeared from Tanzanian waters, which has left us to concentrate on other issues, um, some of which were uh, mangrove and charcoal smuggling. Uh, both are very destructive to the environment of the mangroves, which are an important part of the coastal environment here in Tanzania. And that has shut down hugely. We've okay. seen illegal ferry boats with up to 60 passengers on board, including uh, small children. Um, with absolutely no safety gear out in, in the rough waters in, in the channels here, going back and forth.
I can say, brother, it has affected me a lot. It, it has changed a lot the way my outlook. So this operation has helped me and I transmit this uh, experience and the knowledge that I got to the, all the people that will be around me or will work with me. And also I'll go and advise my seniors. These operations must be like a model, like a model. Whenever we go to the sea working with the other authorities and uh, or a task team that uh, we should take the model that we are doing during the operation you die. I got some experience on what from my job because I, I'm doing a job on a marine police so I got a lot of experience like how to dive, how to clean a ship, how to protect fire on the ship. We don't have a big ship like ocean area for doing a patrol like this. So I got a lot of a lot of experience from this ship. Between myself and JD and Yaram, who is the leader of the Marines, uh, we plan our day, what we're gonna, where we're gonna go, what sort of um, vessels we want to look for, and you know, work out a, some sort of logistical plan for the patrol. And it changes every day depending on the weather, depending on uh, what intelligence we get. Um, all sorts of things go into that mix. Sea Shepherd is providing a platform for law enforcement to enable them to properly enforce the law in the EZ. This collaboration will only be added to if the other countries with bordering EZs join in on these operations so that we can patrol various EZs and the criminals have no place to run to. But as I said previously, the IUU problem is global and we need some other countries to join on the uh, regional operation. Since we have the case of uh, STS-50 vessels which was running from Mozambique and we tried to chase through this mission but we failed due to the jurisdiction of the boundaries from one area to another. But if we would join like our East African countries all the IOTC countries fighting on this mission, we could cross from one country to another without having any illegal problem. First of all, I would, I would, I would take this opportunity to thank the Sea Shepherd for the assistance that they have rendered to our country. That goes without saying that we would wish to continue uh, partnering with the uh, Sea Shepherd because the crew that was in, within the Sea Shepherd have provided uh, training to our personnel. They have helped them to profile the, the vessels that they have been seizing in the Indian Ocean, have trained them to be able to profile them, but then to be able to board and then to, to search the vessels, to detain the crew, these are the benefits that we have accrued out of the assistance that we attend from the Sea Shepherd Authority. And uh, we have been able now to protect our exclusive economic zone. We have, it has acted as a deterrence for the people to, to stop illegal fishing in our waters. But also we have been able now to stop other crimes that are related to IUU. The next step is to expand these, this campaign to the entire east coast of Africa and then east to west coast of Africa and then the entire world. Um, anywhere where the governments don't have necessarily the resources to provide the ship to patrol their EEZ, I think, uh, you know, a partnership with Sea Shepherd would be a really good way to go. And um, I think that is like the whole world crowdfunding protection of the oceans since the oceans do belong to all of us.